Plenty to see this week in the night sky. We have Venus, which will be visible after sunset in the west, but it will be very close to the brightest star in Leo, Regulus, on Monday. As the week progresses, we find Jupiter chasing the planet Mars in the pre-dawn sky. Jupiter is at about magnitude uh, 1.9, whereas uh, little tiny Mars is a, a lot fainter, and you might find that a little difficult to see. Please, please do not try and look for these planets once the sun has actually risen. But you can chase them out uh, into the uh, daytime sky uh, if you've managed to catch them before the sun rises. But towards the end of the week, you're going to find Mercury, the tiny diminutive disk. If you've never seen that before, it's a good time to try and catch it. And it'll join those other two planets in the pre-dawn sky, so it's worth getting up for. Bit early, though. Another thing to look out for, especially in these uh, summer months, because we've got very short nights, is perhaps after sunset. We have some noctilucent clouds that might occur after sunset towards the northern horizon. They're incredibly high, about 75 to 85 kilometers up. They are composed of water ice crystals, uh, but they possibly are associated with micrometeoroid dust of some kind. Uh, but if you get a chance to have a look at them, please photograph them because they are beautiful to see. If you want to learn more about the night sky, then pick up the latest issue of our magazine, Astronomy Now, from the news agents, or download it as an app on your iPhone or iPad.